Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Home Field Advantage Sports. You made it. It's Friday, and the Orioles kick off a three-game series over the weekend with the Yankees tonight. So we got a lot to talk about. Um, first things first, I want to talk about this. Saw a rumor on Twitter um, coming from you know MLB reporters. I'm pretty sure it was Tom Verducci. Um, I could be wrong. I probably should have checked, but. Regardless, um, a lot of Oriole fans are talking about it because, you know, it's starting to gain a little bit of traction. Michael Lorenzen on the Tigers could be someone that the Orioles are looking at in a trade. Um, I don't hate that idea. Uh, he's having a pretty decent season for the Tigers. Uh, not a great team, but, you know, if maybe they could get Alex Lang or uh, Foley in the trade, um, those two relievers on the Tigers are having pretty decent years, th that wouldn't be bad. Um, I would still rather see him shell out hard for Snell and Hayter, and if they were going to make a trade with the Tigers, I'd rather see Eduardo Rodriguez, mainly because, like, I've been thinking about it, and there's kind of a trend. Snell, he's a left-handed starter. Jordan Montgomery on the Cardinals is a left-handed starter. Um, even Erod, left-handed. So, Lorenzen, I don't know. Um, the Orioles have enough right-handed pitchers, uh, right-handed starters. So, I don't know. I would rather see, like, the snell Hater package get those two lefties, um, that's just me, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, interesting, interesting trade idea anyway. Um, maybe not have to pay as much prospects for a guy like Lorenzen. But when you're as good as the Orioles are, I think you got to go all in. But, you know, not uh, Mike Elias might be willing to go all in, but ownership might not, you know. So, I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. I, it's just another update in you know, like the trade sphere, you know, the deadline's coming up, uh, you're going to see a lot of names getting thrown around. Um, Marcus Stroman wouldn't be my favorite guy they could add. I know he's having a really good season, but again, right-handed. Um, maybe, maybe I'm a little um, biased because I think of him as a Blue Jay. I don't really like him that much, but you know how it is. Um, he'd be a good addition as well, but I don't see the Orioles linked to him as much. Um, I've, I've seen him you know, maybe get thrown around as a possible trade partner, but I haven't seen anything like, oh, the Orioles are looking at Marcus Stroman, like me personally. So, I guess we'll see how that turns out. But, let's start with, okay, first off, let's start with running through the starters for each game of this um, series coming up this weekend. Uh, tonight, you know Garrett Cole's on the mound for the Yankees. Um, having a really good season. He's number one in the pitcher power rankings, if you want to, you know, take that with uh, any seriousness. But, no, I don't think he's the best pitcher in baseball, but a lot of people do. So, and uh, I'm going to start calling him G-Rod, because he said that he wants to go by G-Rod instead of Gray-Rod. I think Gray-Rod sounds cooler, but he wants to be called G-Rod. Grayson Rodriguez is pitching for the Orioles tonight. Um, He's been pitching pretty well here lately. This is a big test for him. Um, got the Yankees, the first game of a series. Um, I guess we'll see how it goes. Hopefully he can get in a groove, pitch five or six innings. Um, Bautista should be ra like raring to go tonight. Um, Cano, he's going to have a bounce back after his last game. He slipped up a little bit, but I'm... I'm manifesting some strikeout stances tonight from Cano. Um, hopefully Fujinami looks good if he gets the pitch. Um, should be an exciting matchup. We got Schmidt versus Wells tomorrow. I think Wells easily clears him in the head-to-head, -head, so I feel like the Orioles have the advantage there. And Luis Severino, who's not having a very good season in his limited time, and Dean Kramer. Dean Kramer's been pitching pretty well here recently. I know he has his hiccup games every once in a while, but I think he's going to be ready to go on Sunday, Sunday night baseball. Saturdays, the game is on Fox, and Sunday it's on ESPN. So this is the only game on Masson this weekend is tonight. Um, I'm not going to go into those two games super hard in depth because, you know, they're tomorrow and the next day. I'll review them on Monday when we do our next video here, but... Um, I really want to look at tonight's game because there's like four matchups that I was going through against Garrett Cole that have a decent sample size against Garrett Cole. So yeah, all of them have at least 10 at-bats against them in their careers. Um, no one on the Yankees has any experience versus G-Rod, so that could bode in the Orioles' favor. Um, 
not used to seeing what a guy has, maybe he comes out and guys don't know what to expect. Or maybe he throws some guys off and they just, you know, they're not used to seeing him pitch. So with the Orioles, I think, you know, the lineup hasn't been released yet. Um, I think maybe you see McCann in the lineup tonight because he hits 385 and 13 at bats versus Garrett Cole. Um, he's a 385 hitter in his career against Garrett Cole. That might be a favorable matchup in, uh, you know, Brandon Hyde when he's looking through all this because I'm pretty sure the managers look at all that kind of stuff. It's like, well, he hits really well in his career against this guy, so we're going to go with him. Adam Frazier's hitting 455 and 11 at bats, and Urias is the same. Um, you might see both of those guys in the lineup in favor of, like, Westberg tonight. I know Gunner's going to be in the lineup. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I don't know that he is. Um, he said he should be good to go for Friday's game. I don't see why he wouldn't be. Um, I'd start Gunner at shortstop, Urias at third, and Frazier at second tonight if I, if I was making the lineup. Got those two guys who are hitting 455 and 11 at bats versus Cole. Um, Gunner, you know, he's only ever had two at bats versus Garrett Cole in his career, but he got a hit in one of them. So I feel like, you know, it'd be good to have Gunner at shortstop in this game. Um, and the other guy's Austin Hayes, who, you know, you're definitely going to see him in the lineup, especially with the injuries that are going on out in the outfield. But he's hitting 333 and 15 at bats. So if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Hayes has the largest sample size against Garrett Cole, 15 at bats out of those four, and Hayes, pretty decent in his career against him. I mean, 333 against a pitcher of Cole's quality is not bad at all. So I am looking to see those four guys get hits tonight um, off of Garrett Cole. The Orioles can beat Garrett Cole, and in fact, you know, in his last start against the Orioles, I think it was his last start against the Orioles, it's the one where Gunner hit the double when they came back and won when the Orioles were down at Yankee Stadium. Um, thank God we don't have to play in their little band box. Um, we got our crowd behind us. There should be tons of Orioles fans at the yard this weekend. Uh, there's obviously still going to be some Yankee fans, but it's not going to be as Yankee dominant as it has been. Um, I'm expecting to see big crowds. Um, I would love if they opened up the left field upper deck again. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing because the Orioles are having a hiring event on August 1st hire more employees for the postseason push and the postseason. I'm hoping they open up the upper deck before then because there's going to be some huge games leading up to October. So I don't know if it'll be open for this series, but if it's not, it should be. Um, there's going to be tons of people there. It's going to be loud. It ought to be a really good environment this weekend. Uh, the Orioles are, are in their city connect, connects tonight. Um, they won the last game they played in them. Hopefully, you know, they can break that a little bit. I mean, it's just a uniform at the end of the day. But shoot, through their first couple uh, games in them, they were absolutely terrible. But they won the last one. Maybe they can get on a City Connect winning streak tonight. That would be awesome. Um, I know the Orioles can get to Garrett Cole. They've done it before in the past. I don't know. It should be an exciting game. I'm really excited to see if, you know, Grayson can step up, have, have that moment at the major league level, you know, have a, like a, damn, the word is evading me right now, but, you know, have that signature moment, yep, that signature moment of his rookie season, where he comes in, in a huge game against the Yankees, and just looks lights out, against a guy like Garrett Cole, I mean, the storybook's there, he just has to go and perform, um, Michael Elias has a press conference at 3.30 today, apparently. Uh, we'll see what he has to say. Probably talk about trade deadline in some way, shape, or form. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing it. Uh, it'll be cool, but we'll see what he has to say. We'll see where the Orioles stand. And um, hopefully they go out and make some additions this week. I know they're going to bring in somebody. I don't know who. I wouldn't be completely bummed out with Lorenzo. I don't want you all to feel like that, but... He's just not my number one guy. I would rather they add a left-handed starter personally that's, you know, an upgrade from Corbin in the lefty capacity of the rotation. I mean, Corbin's not even making consistent starts, like, in the rotation. So I would like to have a lefty that they could slot into the rotation that was as nasty as Blake Snell or as reliable as Jordan Montgomery or, you know, Eduardo Rodriguez. Um, he started in the Orioles minor leagues. We traded him in 2014 for Andrew Miller. I mean, maybe it would make sense that they got Erod and slotted him in. So, I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of options, and I don't think they should just settle for 
I mean, I'm not trying to say that Lorenzen is settling either. It's just a righty, and he has comparable numbers to Montgomery. Um, I don't know. I just prefer the other guys. Um, that being said, I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd feel like, you know, the Orioles made an upgrade. They put another reliable arm in. He hasn't pitched as many innings as a lot of those guys this year, too, so he might have more left in the tank. I don't know. Um, it ought to be interesting, whatever happens. I am looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to this series this weekend, starting with the game tonight. So I'm going to sign off for the day, sign off for the weekend. I will see you all on Monday. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, um, definitely comment. Let me know what you think is going to happen over these next three games against the Yankees. And uh, definitely throw a like down. That would be awesome. Um, share it. Share it if you want to. Uh, that would be really cool. Um, let's get it out to some people. Um, I'm going to start promoting a little more on Facebook. I've been told that Facebook is where it's at, apparently. Um, I haven't used Facebook in like over a decade. But I'm going to start pushing it on Facebook a little more. Get it out to some people. I usually use Twitter, YouTube comments, stuff like that. Um, Twitter is kind of my go-to, but I'm going to branch out a little bit and go over to Facebook and see what we can do on there. So let's grow the channel a little bit, get some more subscribers. And don't, like I just want to get conversations going in the comments. Um, I want to talk to you all. You know, it's just fun. Um, let me know what you think about these three games in this series, and um, I'll talk to you on Monday. I'll get back to your comments over the weekend, too, if you drop them on this video. Uh, peace out. I hope you all have a great day and let's see the Orioles win this series this weekend. Let's go, baby.